Hi guys, back with another video for you today. I'm in Rachel's kitchen again, and we figured we'd do vanilla fragrances since it's all about cooking here, right? So true. You like vanilla, right? I love vanilla. I love fresh vanilla beans. I love working with the paste. Okay. I love vanilla, yeah. And you also like vanilla perfumes. So, so true, yes. <laughs> so we have 20 fragrances in my collection, all vanilla dominant, and Rachel has ranked them, and we're gonna tell you what they are coming right up. with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. Let's get right to it. 20 Let's fragrances. Let's go. All right, so you ranked these. I did. Uh, from your favorites to your least favorites. Yes. And I can tell that we did the, uh, the Delicious Fragrances video. Mm -hmm. So some of, your rank, uh, some of the fragrances we featured on that video, and I noticed that your ranking has changed around a little bit. Yes, I think I've like matured a little bit in my, my smelling as, I've <laughs> as we've been doing this, which has been amazing. I also think I'm probably really passionate about vanilla, so to be able to see it in a more like detailed way changed the ranking for me a little bit. Mm which was just really cool to experience as I was smelling every single fragrance. Oh, cool. Yeah. So we have so many different varieties of vanilla fragrances. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, yeah, let's get started. All right. So number 20 mm -hmm. is Vanille Botanique from uh, DSH Perfumes, mm -hmm. Don Spencer Hurwitz. So how come this one ended up at the bottom compared to being at the top or closer to the top? Yeah, so I think I think the first thing when I smell it is it's like it's very abrupt. It's very forward and I don't always I don't always wear perfumes that are just like very aggressive, so mm -hmm. to speak. Okay. Um I also think I just like don't love the amber color as much. Oh. Because Do you think it's too deep and rich? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah. But it's very like it's very like the very first note is very, very forward. Okay. So Okay. What do you think about that? I, I agree. Okay. It's intense. Yeah, it's, it's very intense. pretty intense. That's a good way to say it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Vanny Botanique at number 20. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, going to a completely different fragrance, you went with uh, Atelier Cologne's mm -hmm. Vanny Insensé. So, mm -hmm. what's, what's the difference about this one? This one, I think it's just that... I think um, when I think vanilla, I just think like a little bit sweeter, a little bit lighter. So, it's not that... I disliked the pre frames per se, but I found many others in this collection that I felt like were just like sweeter and lighter and more fit like, oh, this is the emotion that I get when I smell vanilla. I see. Yeah, what are your thoughts on it? I think I agree. This one's not traditionally like your sweet syrupy vanilla. Right. It's more sparkly and effervescent, mm -hmm. lighter and easier to wear. Yeah. So yeah, it's I agree. lovely though. It's nice, yeah. yeah. I like it. I love this one. I have a review of it. Uh -huh. In fact, I have a review of Don Spencer Hurwitz's uh, DSH's uh, Vanille Botanique as well. So the next one is Guerlain's uh, Shalimar, mm -hmm. a very, very classic fragrance. This is a, a refill bottle version of it. Okay. So this dates back to the early 1900s, Ooh. but not in its current formulation. This is. Uh, more modern formulation. But it's been around for a while. It's been around, yeah. yeah. Can you smell? It's can you smell that it's kind of somewhat classic? Yes. But what did you like about this and what did you not like about it? Um, I think... Can I smell this one? Yeah. I think that I liked about it is like there is there a tiny like floral note in it? There's definitely the floral notes yeah, in there. Yeah, like there's floral notes in there. I think I really like that about it because it was almost like the blooming of the vanilla, like the opening up and the blooming. The orchid? Of the vanilla. Yes. Yeah, the orchid dance in it as well. That's what it is. Yeah. Um, I think again, it just like wasn't the sweetest. Um, it's just like lighter, more floral, which I also love. But as far as vanillas go, I like the sweeter ones. Okay. I don't really think it's traditionally a vanilla fragrance, but it has lots of vanilla in it. Okay. So that's why we featured it here. Okay. Very good. Um, does it smell old to you? It smells. Yeah. It does. It does. More like vintage, maybe? Vintage, yeah. Okay. It's very vintage. It has like a very classic bit about it. Okay. Yeah. And do you see yourself wearing it? Yeah, I would wear it. Yeah. You would wear it? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, at number 17, you went with Memoirs of a Trespasser from Imaginary Authors. Mm -hmm. Now, what is it about this one that didn't end up at the top and it ended up in the, the bottom more? Um, I think there's just like a tiny bit of like underlying like musk to it. There is musk, but there's also okay. lots of woody notes in here the, and resins. Yes. I think that it is. It's very woody. It's very deep. It's very earthy. But I think I got the note of musk, and I just like don't enjoy 
Musk. You are not friends with Musk. I've never been friends with Musk. <laughs> so I think I got the one note of Musk, which is like, uh, yeah. Okay. And it bumped it farther down the list. Okay. To me, I also find this one not traditionally like an in-your-face vanilla. It's mm -hmm. a lot more going on with it rather than just vanilla. Yeah, it's much more subtle. The vanilla yeah. is more subtle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's more forward with its woody. Yeah, it's woody. Musk. Woody -ness, yeah. So that's memoirs of a trespasser from imaginary authors, and then we have uh, Oudwa Vanilla mm -hmm. from uh, Berdu. Mm -hmm. So what is it about this one that ended up down here versus being at the top? Um. Again, I don't think you like oud, oud uh, fragrance. I don't it? love it. Yeah. I think I like it more than musk, but it's like oud and musk is like a little bit farther down the list for me. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But um, do you like the vanilla part of it? I think it's delicious personally. I do. I think that the vanilla part of it, instead of being like a sweeter vanilla, is like the deeper, rich, like the almost like the husk of the bean mm -hmm. part of it, and I do really like that. You like that? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, um, it's definitely not number 20, but uh, <laughs> it's also definitely not number 10 or 9 or something. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so the next one is Montal's Vanilla Cake. Unfortunately, my little dangly little Montal logo mm -hmm. broke off of here. But what did you like and what did you not like about Montal's Vanilla Cake? Okay, so what I liked about this is that it immediately, you know immediately what it is. It's immediately Vanilla Cake. Yeah. And I think for me as a baker, that's, you know, nostalgic and I immediately have memories and I have visions of different cakes that pop into my head right away. I think, on the other hand, it is like very, very sweet. And as much as I like sweet, um, it's not the balance of like the the sweet and the savory. It's like just very... It's overwhelming. Yeah, it's, it's a little overwhelmingly sweet. But um, Mont it's just nice and it is nostalgic for me. Okay. Yeah. Now Montal fragrances tend to be intense, mm -hmm. like heavy. So maybe that's what you're reacting to. Maybe, yeah. 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 All right. Okay, Montal okay. Manila Cake at number... 15. So at number 14, Tejota by Indult. Mm -hmm. So what? why is this uh, at number 14? Because I remember in the Gourmand video, this was at the very yeah. top. Yeah, the truth is, is like it is so delicious. Like I think overall there was a lot of fragrances in the collection, so I was like, this is amazing, I love this. Um, and I think it was more just like in the collection itself. It was a little bit farther down the list at 14, but... But your taste changed. That said, yeah. It's delicious. It is really delicious. But you know what? There's a dose, a big dose of musk in here. Mm. So you're probably not picking up the musk in here compared to some of the other fragrances. I mean, no, no, not compared to the first couple that we did. And then, now that I look at your list here, I know one of the fragrances at the very top is full on musk in there, so... So, Interesting. surprise, surprise. <laughs> Alright, so Indult yes. at number 14. So it's a Tijota by Indult at mm -hmm. number 14. So the next one is Serendipitous by Serendipity 3. So why is this one uh, more towards the bottom compared to the top? Because I find this one really delicious. Yeah, no, I think, um, I think it's just very light. Like I found it like to be very light and very lovely um, and not airy? as... Airy? Yeah, very airy and I think because of that, I was looking for something a little bit more intentional. Like, okay. not overwhelming, but a little bit more intentional. Okay. Yeah. It's more of a skin scent, I think. Okay. Do you know that term? No, I was just about to ask. I don't know what that skin means. Skin scent means you put some stuff on, like the you put fragrances on. It doesn't project much. Mm -hmm. It's more for you. It's a personal fragrance. Mm -hmm. You pretty much only smell it on you. And people need to get really close to you to smell it on okay. you. Okay. So that's a skin scent. Yeah. That's so, lovely. So, you learn something new. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the next one is from Visconti. This is Cur de Vanille. Mm -hmm. Do you know about this one? No, I don't. So this one is vanilla with uh, licorice, anise. Yeah, yeah. Can we also talk about how lovely this bottle is? It's a really it's beautiful really, bottle. Yeah, and, and it rocks. <laughs> <laughs> I did that when I was smelling it earlier. <laughs> That's cool, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a great combo, I think, because I love both licorice and vanilla. Mm -hmm. and I never thought they would go together, but they really work well here. I actually really love the anise. Like, I love that we start with the vanilla and we move into the licorice, and then you end with like a bit of just anise, which I think is compared to like maybe a few others in, in the past, this is just like very balanced to me. Like, really? I smell a layer of flavors, I understand them all. Yeah. That's cool. I just really enjoy it. That's what I really liked about it. Do you it. like anise then? I do, and yeah. I really like to cook with it. I mean, um, 
oatmeal with it the other day. Oh, wow. Yeah. I would love to taste the oatmeal. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> All right. So the next one at number 11, we're going to the house of Mona di Oreo, and this is just Vani. Mm -hmm. So this is the older bottle. They now come in newer bottles. But uh, this one's at number 11. Why? Mm -hmm. Why this one at number 11? Um, which is interesting because it is a bit forward. Yeah, it is forward. Yeah, it is very forward. And musky too. And it's a bit musky. Yeah. And I, yeah, and I put it up towards the higher of the list. Um, I think again, I just like liked the layers in it. Okay. Like, it's not... It worked together well. Yeah, like it's forward, but it wasn't like... In, it wasn't musk all the way through. Okay. Like, I just think that there's some nice layers to it. Okay, cool. I find this one to be a very green vanilla, almost like the flower that's not even bloomed yet. It's green. Oh, like, wow. you can smell the vanilla orchid. Yeah, very well said. Yeah. It comes off very green to me. Yeah. Green it's vanilla. Green. Uh -huh. Anyway, that's at number 11. All right, at number 10, we're going to the house of Louis Vuitton. Mm. And this is Contre Moi. So, why this one at number 10? Um, I really love this one a lot. You yeah, do? I I might need you to help me pinpoint it. Actually, okay. what I love about it, I love I love that it's not overwhelming. I love that it feels intentional. I love that there's like a bit of floral in it. There are flowers in it. There's ambrette in it. It also has a very watery yeah layer to it like you can smell like water drops yeah not aquatic like sea or the ocean or something yeah that's Just what water. it is yeah so it kind of gives it a light uh, airy quality to it yeah not heavy and dense mm -hmm. a lot of louis vuitton's uh, fragrances are like that especially the first batch of releases okay so anyway i found it very charming is how i found it like i wanted to wear it and it was just yeah i just thought it was a very charming fragrance okay yeah easy to wear yeah all right so the next one is at number nine, and it's Guerlain Spiritus Double Vanille. This one's the actual real vanilla, like boozy mm -hmm. cooking yes, vanilla. Yes, it is. I smell that. It's like, is it bourbon in it? Do I, am there I is the liqueur, that way? yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a liqueur, It's yeah. really delicious. Yeah, it is so, so delicious. Like, But it smells like you open up a bottle of the cooking vanilla mm -hmm. and you smell that, right? Yeah. But not... Not wear that one, but we can wear this one. Right, but it did. It has like a liqueur smell to it. It's like almost holiday of like rich liqueurs and Yum. baking with deeper, richer vanillas and creme brulees. Yeah. When I smell this, it makes me feel warm and cozy. Mm -hmm. It's just that kind of a fragrance. Yeah. Even though, I mean, a lot of these fragrances, performance is probably not going to be beast mode except for a few like this and this and th there's some other ones this one i find the performance lacking but to me it's all about the scent mm -hmm. and it's so so delicious yeah so delicious you can kind of get past the performance just carry a bottle with you or take some the decant and just replenish yeah. throughout the day so anyway totally that's great. at number nine at number eight the profumi di firenze and ah. it's vanilla de, Ma de madagascar <laughs> now this one i find beast mode too this one actually you really love. I really love this fragrance. <laughs> and you ranked it really high in the delicious fragrances video, but it's kind of slipped down a little. Yeah, there's just so many good vanillas. I think in general I love vanilla and there was only a, a few in the delicious ones that were vanilla. Yeah. Um, this one I think we love because I wore it to the symphony one night. You did wear it to the symphony. On my way out. I put on and I ran into you and, and it was projecting off of you yeah. like there was no tomorrow and, and I could smell it everywhere <laughs> yeah and I was so proud <laughs> <laughs> yeah so I think it's like special to me as well but I really love it's like a very soothing vanilla it's a bit sensitive it's just creamy it's, yeah it's, it's cream creamy. note mm -hmm. yeah in there. it's not light but it's just it's sweet it's inviting it's an inviting fragrance yeah which is why we wear it to the symphony Oh, cool. <laughs> At number eight, so that's I Profumi di Firenze Vanilla del Madagascar. So what's the next one? At number seven. Tom Ford. Is this uh, Tobacco Vanille? I believe so. Yeah. So why is this one is at number seven? This is Tobacco Vanille. Yes. Yeah. So I was surprised because I didn't think I was going to like the tobacco note, to be totally honest. But I love the way that it mixes with the vanilla. I love it. I think... Does it smell like cinnamon too? Yes. Oh, 100%. This is one of my favorite fragrances to wear at Thanksgiving. Yeah, that makes so much sense. That was immediate, just like, it smells like spice, it smells like cinnamon. But I think you start off with like, you're hit with like a bit of tobacco. But 
And at first I was like, oh, it's tobacco. But then it easily moved into like the space of vanilla. And then it hits you with this like cinnamon, which leaves you in like a nostalgic, lovely, like holiday mindset. So I think I loved the experience of smelling it that I walked into it feeling the tobacco was going to be too much. And then was just really pleasantly surprised by how I felt about it. It's covered up by all those yummy yeah. other notes yeah. that you don't experience like dirty, ashy tobacco, even though it's dirty, ashy tobacco. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, cool. Number seven, Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille. At number six, we got Vanille Patchouli from Molinard. Mm. So you like this one? I do. I don't know if I would wear it so much. I think it smells a bit masculine. The patchouli makes it masculine, Yeah, right? it's very masculine, but I think therefore I love the smell of it because it's so masculine. <laughs> would you like that on a, a guy? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. yeah. It's so good. So good? Yeah. Um, because I think guys might think that the vanilla might be a bit feminine, but I think it's a nice juxtaposition of, you know, vanilla and patchouli. It's a nice balance, I think. Totally agree. I love it. I love that phrase. Totally agree. Yeah, that's how that landed in the top. <laughs> okay, cool. So at number five, this mm -hmm. is the top five, we got another Tom Ford, and this mm -hmm. time it's Vanille Fatale, this one right here. So why this one at number five and not uh, Tobacco Vanille at number five? Um. You like this one better? I do like this one better. Yeah, it's a little bit lighter. It's, I think, you know, just not getting hit with the tobacco right away, which I did end up, I did end up liking, but it's just, it's a little bit more subtle, um, and I think I liked that. Do you find that it's a little more on the feminine side? Yes, I do. You I do? I think it is a bit more feminine. I actually really love this. There's floral notes in it, but I find it to be almost like a dolce de leche mm. um, caramel. Yeah. So a combo of vanilla and caramel and milk or like milky notes. Here. I totally agree. Really delicious. Yeah. Not much talk about this one. It's too bad, but mm -hmm. I love it. All right. So it's number five, Vanille Fatale, Tom Ford. Mm -hmm. and number four, it's Serge Lutens, Un Bois Vanille, or Un Bois Vanille. Mm -hmm. So what? What did you like about this one? This is a woody vanilla. It is a woody vanilla, which I think I, I really enjoyed the wood notes in it. I really liked the earthy bit to it because it wasn't an overwhelming earthiness. It was a lot more subtle than the ones we previously smelled. And I just thought that it moved in well with the, the vanilla, yeah. As far as woody notes go in here, it's a nice, smooth, woody note rather than like a rough in your face. Yes. Like a dusty woody note. It's very creamy. So yeah, there's nothing dusty about it. Oh, cool. All right, so that's Umba Bani mm -hmm. from uh, Serge Tens at number three. Mm -hmm. It's Dulcis in Fundo by <laughs> Profumum Roma. You like this brand? I do like this brand. Yeah. This is really yummy. It is really yummy. Um, I think I was surprised out of all of this. This is more of a citrus note. Really. There might be some orange in there. It's, yeah. I'm going to spray this one on in. because I haven't been wearing anything. Here, mm -hmm. let's spray it. This brand is awesome. Yeah. I love this brand. An Italian brand. There is a citrus note in there. It's mm -hmm. orangey. And I think that was the first thing I experienced was the citrus note because it was so different than anything else I had smelled today that I was like, oh, I really like this. Okay. I like the citrus note. I like the way that the citrus moves in with the vanilla. It makes me feel like... It's just a different season than everything else that I smelled here today because I think oftentimes vanilla can be mixed into the holidays and this just felt really light and bright. I really like that. Cool. All right, so yeah. Dulcis in Fundo at number three. All right. At number two, I was, I was shocked about this one. You put it at the number two. I know. This I have is, to tell you why. <laughs> this is Lune Feline by Atelier yeah. Desors and this is all about vanilla and musk. Mm, I know. <laughs> I know. And I have to tell you, I really think that their marketing of putting the gold chips inside the bottle itself just like really sold me. Really? <laughs> I just think it's so luxurious and beautiful and yeah, it is so musky, but I actually really en enjoyed it more than I often do the other musks. I think the musk itself is a little bit more subtle, it's not quite as forward as I often experience musk, and you can definitely experience the vanilla. like before and during the musk note compared to the musk just like taking over. Mm -hmm. um, I just think it's really well mixed. Okay. Yeah. Um, there's also animalic, mm -hmm. hints of animalic Yes, nuts. I was going to say, it's like a little bit of, yeah. A little, little dirty? Yeah, a little dirty. And then there's also <laughs> lots of spices in there too. Yeah, yes, definitely like a little bit of anise, a little bit of liqueur, a little bit of cinnamon, okay. just at the very end, little bits. All right, cool. Pick up nice notes. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right, right, so number at number one, one da, 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 it's uh, Jeroboam's Insulo. So why this one? I really love this too. Yeah, so. it's so good. 
It's really delicious. Mm -hmm. Do you pick up citruses in here? Uh, just a tiny bit, yeah. It's not overwhelming, but it's subtle and I think I like the balance of it. What I like about Jeroboam fragrances is that they are all intense. They're extrait de parfum. They're 30 ml bottles, very easy to transport, and they're like $125, $130 for mm. a 30 ml. So a little goes a long way with this this line. Mm. You just spray one or two sprays and you're done for the day. Okay. Yeah, but delicious, delicious, delicious fragrance. Mm. You picked a good one at number one. <laughs> it's very smooth also. Very, it very smooth. It is very smooth. Cool. Yeah. So anything else you want to add about vanilla fragrances? You should, you should definitely invest in a good vanilla fragrance. Yeah. I imagine it's a key staple to a fragrance collection. Yeah. A lot of these are more expensive, but for some inexpensive ones, you've got here, you can get this for about $60. Mm -hmm. um, as I mentioned, the price on this is about $130, $125. E Profumi is $110. Mm -hmm. This one right here is about $60. Um, this one's about $120, $130. The, the, this one, uh, Imaginary Authors, is about $100. This one's about 120. So yeah, you can. There's all kinds of price ranges for these, and uh, yeah. cool. Appreciate all the variety in it. Yeah. All right. So good. Well, thank you for doing the video. Yes. Thank you so much for having me, and I always enjoy doing this. Cool. I always really. Enjoy Maybe it. we'll do another video in the near future for something similar theme, like I would love something that. delicious. Perfect. All right. I would love that. <laughs> All right, guys, do you have any questions or comments with our list? What did you think about the way Rachel ranked these fragrances? Where would you have put these fragrances in which order? Let us know as well what your favorite's order would be. Mine would be different, but I'm not going to do it for you right now. Uh, maybe I'll put it in the info box. But let us know. If there's any fragrances that we missed, also please let us know. Other than that, please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.